Murphy in Bedford, New Hampshire, Hillary Vaughn, Fox News. Well, Dave, you know, you, you uh, were remarking in a meeting earlier this uh, the, or earlier today about this resurgence in yeah. like the supernatural. In yeah, TV yeah shows you've seen it, right? Like that in entertainment yeah. these days. Countless fictional shows and movies depicting the dark side. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're talking about vampires and zombies and witches, particularly witches at this point right now. Fans of the popular WGN America show Salem are anxiously awaiting the up and coming second season. But if you want your which fix now, just head to the Pioneer Theater to take in a performance of The Crucible. Whether it be on film, television, or on stage, the infamous Salem witch trials make for fascinating entertainment. The historically based accounts of those witch trials are being recreated this week by the Pioneer Theater Company's performance of the Arthur Miller classic, The Crucible. <laughs> Two main characters in the show, John and Elizabeth Proctor, are played by veteran stage actors Fletcher McTaggart and Claire Brownell. They portray a couple in turmoil following John's affair with a teenage girl. Off stage, the actors have become fast friends. The first time she came up and introduced herself to me, and the next thing she said to me is that my fly was down. <laughs> I forgot about that. And I thought for a second, that's the perfect wife right there. The tale of the Salem Witch Trials is also currently being depicted on television by WGN America in their highly acclaimed original program, Salem. The show has been renewed for a second season after surpassing all ratings expectations during season one. Any good actor will tell you the key to putting on a successful show is to be prepared and to know your material. Claire and Fletcher told me they each binge watched the entire first season of Salem as part of their preparation for The Crucible. This time period is actually well chronicled. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the, trials, the whole trial, they're, word for they're word, recorded. Yeah. So you do have a wealth of historical information, and from that, I think both in Salem and in The Crucible, uh, the writers have extrapolated who these people were. As in Salem, the detailed wardrobe is a key factor in depicting the true day-to-day -day life of the 1690s. The Crucible pays equal attention to that costume detail. Just like the TV show on WGN America, the costumes very, very intricate and quite appropriate for the time period. This is a very rich historical time period and the costumes are fantastic. Are. And you get to really see into um, living in a very hostile environment. For local Salem fans excited about the April 5th season two premiere, attending a performance of The Crucible this week could be a great way to get geared up for the show. And as far as the stage play goes, Claire Brownell and Fletcher McTaggart say you will not be disappointed. It's very rich and deep on all levels, acting to set to even the lights and the music that goes with it. It's a beautiful show. All right, now the Crucible will be running at Pioneer Theater through Saturday, and it really looks like it's a great production. They do a great, great job up there. It's yeah, they, amazing oh, professional yeah. work. They and do. this is a yeah. touring troupe, so I mean, they're oh. all—they're not all natives. Some of mm -hmm. some of them are natives, but in any case, um, next month I'm going back to the Salem set to do interviews mm -hmm. prior to season two on WGN America, and that, of course, premieres April 5th. And here's some good news: if you missed last season, you can catch up on all 12 episodes. They're available on Netflix, and this year, along with DirecTV and Dish, Comcast is carrying WG in America in all their packages. So if you have Comcast, Dish, or DirecTV, oh, you're in. That's that's terrific. So there, there you go. April 5th, the big season two premiere. Worth watching. I love the show. And Dave, you can pull off the colonial look. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah. I'm glad you like that. Yeah. <laughs>